And a warm welcome to the FA Cup final. Burnley's first final since 1962 takes place here today. Marvellous occasion for it. There's a tremendous atmosphere in and around the stadium. And what would surely be an absolute humdinger of a cup final will be taking place here this afternoon. Manchester United have won the FA Cup 11 times. Burnley just the once, that was back in 1914. And they beat Liverpool 1-0 at Crystal Palace. Take on the two teams, Manchester United as strong as they can get. Rooney and Van Persie up top. They're playing a diamond four with Di Maria, Herbert, Blind and Mata. Smalling and Jones and De Gea, the goalkeepers of the FA Cup games. And let's have a look at Burnley. Heaton, it's the same 11, but there are several people back on amongst them, including which Jennings and Harry Kane bow back. As Burnley look to try and win the FA Cup for the very first time in over a hundred years. There are two league games as well to go after this. Tom Heaton, a former Manchester United man, appearing in his first FA Cup final. Michael Lever is the referee, and we're all set to go. Burnley and Clarton Blue get us away. Well, this will be a humdinger of a final. Burnley have never won the FA Cup at Wembley before. Their last final, of course, was in 1962. And they do have all those big-name players back as well. Rodriguez and one or two others. Here's Will Hughes. Good save. The hair and offside. Hughes was actually the man that was uh, flagged, and I have to say rather harshly. Manchester United going away with a couple of decisions at the start of the game. Kitely. That's a good check back in Jones. Back to Kitely. Going to be a bit more in final, this is for sure. And if you're wondering why the Everton and uh, Hull games aren't on YouTube, the simple reason is we had problems with sound. But we've got the sound back now for this final. Just to remind everybody of the league preserve mutations, Burnley are, one, are still one point behind Chelsea at the top of the Barclays Premier League. With two games left to play. Here's his corner. Jekovic's jump. Jones is there. Chipped in. Out as far as Trippier. Oh, listen. Jones. Jones stands the cross up well. And it comes out a goal! Bugs! Quarter of an hour gone! And Burnley have made a terrific start to this FA Cup final. Half cleared by Smalling and Ings, or rather Volk, sorry, finishing off with Sarablong. And it's Burnley 1, Manchester United 0. Got Wembley. What a start. Well, Volk's got a hat-trick against Toll and continues the run here. Well, it's a remarkable situation. Stones to Kitely. On to Vokes. They might not need any inks yet. Saved by the hair from Vokes. And it's the Clarets who are celebrating at the moment. 101 years since they last won the, uh, the trophy. 1914. Don't 
And the quadruple is certainly still on. This will be the second leg if they could manage it. Here's Hughes. Hughes chips the crawl back. Oh, good header back by Jones. Had to do well there. And again, well won. And here's Hughes again. And the tackle's flying in, and here's folks. John Percy for Manchester United. Good challenge, or was it? Well, I think um, I thought he got the ball. He had to take everything. I thought ball is him, but uh, referee decided that it was a three kicked and when Percy he's not going to shoot it he's going to chip it in and there's a man free and it was straight into the arms of the goalkeeper who held on well tightly he's got one up in the middle can he pick out Jokovic no nope. he picks out David the hair instead Second rule still applies even in Wembley Cup finals. Here's Townsend. Jones. Bursting through in the middle and doing terrifically well, but just couldn't pick the ball through. Hughes. Boylison. He's tightly. Oh, Fuller winning this fella. He's been terrific. Fuller running. And he stands up a lovely ground. So, oh, and Bokes couldn't get it. A better contact on it, otherwise it would have been 2-0. Lovely football again from the Clarets, really showing why they're the better team at the moment in this FA Cup final. Good challenge. The United player injured on the far side, I can't make out who it might be, it might be Herrera actually. <laughs> makes me stick to envy with these foreign players it really does here's Shaw Di Maria and it's got in the back of the net but the referee I think is given offside Hughes Stones last seconds of the first half and then it's all eyes on Oliver our referee here's Bollison! Well held. And there's the half time whistle. The FA Cup final is going the way of the Clarets in the moment. They lead by a goal to nil. The goal in the 15th minute from Sam Bokes separates the two teams. And at half time here in this FA Cup final, it's Manchester United nil. Burnley won. And welcome back to the second half. And this cup final gets restarted. Manchester United attacking the goal to our left. Burnley one up. This is the man who's got the goal. Folks. And you get Jukovic in behind with the goalkeeper sweeping up quite well. Townsend's throw. Finds Trippier. It's all the Clarets on the way to the left hand side who are cheering at the moment. That's a good cross. Bunch was darting in there rather menacingly, but uh, United got it away. Here's Van Persie. Good turn. He's got Rooney if he needs. Still Van Persie for Manchester United. Still Van Persie. Oh, what a goal! Well, there was no stopping that from Robin Van Persie. It's 1-1 at Wembley. As soon as it left his left foot. Keaton stood no chance. Look at the curl on it. Magnificent equaliser to bring the scores back to 1-1 in the FA Cup final. Tom Eaton, well, there was not a lot he could have done about it. So it's 1-1. One, one. And there's going to be some changes afoot now. Because the deadly twosome. 
Who are back from injury are there and in fact Rodriguez is going to come on and replace Townsend. So there are three changes for Burnley. They're bringing on the big three. Manchester United have made them play the hand, they played the three jokers simultaneously. And now the return of the big three, Rodriguez, Kane and Ings will be a boost to Burnley's hopes now to have them on the field. And Ings, and what a chance now! Yes! He has made the impact! Danny Ings has come off the bench and has rediscovered the goal scoring touch. He may have been out for so long for injury, but by Jingles, he's come off the bench and what a substitution! Manchester United won! But Clarence two at Wembley. Polenny on for Herrera. Well, the substitution's happening thick and fast now. Well, it means Manchester United must come from behind a second time. Amazing scenes here at Wembley. Shackle. Hughes, Jones, Rodriguez out to the far side, and Jay Rodriguez is in space, and he's onside, and he's missed it! Oh, and the Burnley born lad could have won the cup for his hometown side. Wayne Rooney plays no more further part in this year's final. Falcao will come on. Louis van Gaal deciding that Falcao's time is now. And he takes the captaincy away from Ray Rooney as well. But he also knows that he's got a job to do here for the man from Old Trafford. Di Maria. Good running by a £59 million man. Van Persie who scored that excellent equaliser to bring the scores back to 1-1. Here he is again. Good ball in behind for Laney. Cantley stops him. Cantley's now gone to the uh, to the uh, to the right hand side. Here's Harry Kane. Cantley's there. Hughes is there. And he's, and Jones Roberts through. It's David Jones. Can he finish it? No, he's straight in the Jones again. Cantley goes in. Shore away. We kick to Manchester United. Trippier just gets us talking to off the referee. And in a cup final of this magnitude, the referee's quite right. On a showpiece like this, you want to keep the full complement if you can of 22 players on the field. Here's Kane. Running straight through. Can he finish it now? It's Harry Kane! Good save from Derry De Gea. And it's behind for a throw. Well, you know, well, Burnley looking a lot stronger now with the three Grusketeers on. And just precisely what they need for this league running. Cartley in well, Joe's there as well, Hughes. Cartley, good ball, Kane is onside. There are eight minutes to play and it's Kane! Yes! It's all over! Burnley are going to win the FA Cup for the first time in 101 years! And Harry Kane is the man that's done it! And two of the three substitutions! I've worked a treat for Burnley. Maggi Rodriguez has made an impact himself, even though he hasn't scored. And that Van Persie equaliser really spurred Burnley to making those changes. And as a result, it's just one and possibly the second silverware of the season. Of a possible four. And three Wembley appearances this season 
have yielded surely three victories and two pieces of silverware admittedly the other semi the other way the appearance was a semi-final my goodness they had to work hard for the fine to get through to the final against Bullen. so united now two goals down and time running out little chip ball in shackle eaten away shackle again tightly again Kane good try straining the arms of the goalkeeper oh, he, and the goalkeeper wasting time for his own team there and took five added minutes at the end United need to score twice to force extra time there's the cross there's the header, small in! That's one of them. Still need another one. Manchester United. Otherwise, it's still Burnley's trophy. Chris Small in with the finish. Heaton beating a mile, but Burnley are still on course for that uh, quadruple still, because they still lead by three goals to two. Okay, just makes it that little bit more. No backing for the Clarets. And here's Valcal. And yes, it's all over. Burnley have won the cup. The second trophy of the season is theirs. By three goals to two. Vogues, Ings and Kane, the goal scorers. From Percy with the reply for Manchester United at 1-1. And then Smalling made it three goals to two at the end. But it's Burnley's day at Wembley in the sunshine. And they've actually beaten both Manchester clubs in consecutive cup finals. And now three games of an extraordinary season are still to go. Jason Shackle's already picked up the, the League Cup this season and now he's going to get his hands on the FA Cup. And we'll see it from Prince William, the president of the Football Association. Burnley are going to win the FA Cup for the second time and their first for well over 100 years. It's been worth the wait. The second leg of the possible quadruple is now in place. There are two league games, they still need a slip up from Chelsea to win the league perhaps. They are in the European Cup final. But what a day for Burnley Football Club. FA Cup winners for 2015 in a marvellous, marvellous FA Cup final for which they have won it by three goals to two.